hey, listen, I've been in your exact shoes. Here's what you need to do. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jen Sargent. I'm the creator of Digital Sargent and I'm so happy you found this video. If you found this video, it's because you're more than likely a local or a small business owner who wants to learn more about digital marketing and I'm the girl to help you do just that. Before we dive into today's video, which is all about what to do if your Google My Business listing has been suspended, I kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel so when I upload new material all about local business digital marketing, you'll be the first to know and you'll be the first to implement it. So first things first, I have to say that if you're going through a Google My Business suspension, I have been in your exact shoes, I know exactly what it feels like. And in fact, this is exactly why I created the Google My Business portion of local business digital marketing bootcamp and why I created a section within the bootcamp all about a war file. Because here's the thing, Google My Business suspensions can happen by accident and depending on the industry that you're in, there's a chance that your Google My Business listing will be suspended and it's truly just a matter of time. So the Google My Business war file really sets you up for when and if this were to ever happen for your business. Now, if you want more information on that and local business digital marketing bootcamp, the link is below and that's a great resource for you. So if your Google My Business listing has been suspended, I want you to first relax. It's going to be okay. Uh, more than likely, it's going to take about 72 hours, maybe a little bit longer for you to get your listing back. Now, depending on where you are in the phase of Google My Business listing, you're going to want to do a couple of things. Um, number one, do not make any changes within your dashboard. Um, you probably won't even be able to. But what you want to do is go to the reviews section of your dashboard and start taking screenshots and also click on the profiles of the people who left the reviews. See if those reviews that were left for your business are on that profile and if they are, capture the URL of the person who left that review. Basically what could happen is whenever your Google My Business listing gets suspended, you could potentially lose all of your reviews. So if we have a way of documenting them any way, shape, or form for when your listing does get reinstated and your reviews have vanished, we can then go back to Google and say, hey, these are my reviews. Can you help me get them back, please? Um, so that's one aspect of it. You are also going to want to draw back in your memory and ask yourself, did you change the name of your Google My Business listing? Did Were there edits to the listing that you didn't capture and didn't discard? Um, really get a really good temperature of what could have happened to your listing. Now, there is a Google My Business readdressal form, reinstatement form, rather, and I'm going to link the, to that as well. And you're going to want to fill out that form to the best of your ability, include all of the information possible. Additionally, you're going to want to take screenshots of your brick and mortar location on Google Maps and also in real life, go to your location and take photos of signage of directories, what's around you, even take a video. There's a good chance that Google is going to ask for this information as well. And if you already are armed and ready, you can quickly give it to them, upload it on a Google Drive. Now, there is a chance that your Google My Business listing was suspended by accident. And let me explain. In, the indust in certain industries, there are a lot of spammers. That's just the way things go. And one of the spam industries is a garage door repair industry. So for example, if the name of my garage door repair company is Jennifer's Garage Door Repair, that could essentially be spamming. So if, even though that's the name of my business, I had no idea that this was spammy, I had, that was not my intention at all. My LLC says Jennifer's Garage Door Repair, my tax documents, my bank account, literally everything says Jennifer's Garage Door Repair. My domain is Jennifer's Garage Door Repair Claremont, for example. So a Google My Business spammer, spammer detector, if you will, could go into your pocket, your niche. So for me, it could be Claremont. And then they could also go into the location and they could look at garage door repair locations and garage door repair companies. They could see Jennifer's garage door repair and it could be slightly spammy and they could report that as spam. And then that is one way your Google My, List, Google My Business listing could get suspended. Pure accident didn't mean to happen that way. Just friendly fire, really. Another way that it could happen is 
And this is why it's so important you know exactly who manages your Google My Business listings. And I literally just helped out a family friend with this problem. When a company comes to you and says, I can make your Google My Business listing be at the top of everything, you're going to be number one in rankings, you're going to have a 75% increase in phone calls and clicks to your website, you're going to be dominating, let me help you, it's super cheap, it's like $10 a month. Well, usually companies like that will have a quite the roster of other companies that they're working with. And within that roster, they could have spammy businesses, they could be doing spammy things, they could just be bad people. So when that person gets in trouble and they have a long database of Google My Business accounts that they manage, they will all get suspended. So your business is essentially being suspended for quality issues because of somebody else has nothing to do with what you did. And more than likely, you just said, okay, sounds good, it's cheap, you could help, all right. And you know, 45 days later, your listing suspended, these people packed up shop and off they went, you can't contact them, and you are, you're essentially SOL. So those are a couple of things that could happen with your Google My Business listing. And this is why I, um, I mean, I've helped so many people. So if your Google My Business listing is suspended and you're completely just like nervous about it, please contact me. I would love to help you. I know exactly what it feels like. I will never forget when this happened to me and a company that I was working with. It just felt like a pit was in my stomach and there was nothing I can do about it. But the good news is that within 72 hours, we got our listing back. We didn't list help from a Google My Business product expert. I'm actually going to shout him out. His name is Ben Fisher. He's an outstanding person. So you can also reach out to him and he can also help you if he's able. So um, I really hope your Google My Business listing never gets suspended. But if you're watching this video, there's a good chance it probably has. If you have any questions about local business digital marketing bootcamp and the Google My Business course specifically, please let me know. Um, I'd love to help you out. And this is exactly why I preach about making sure you know who is in charge of your Google My Business listing, making sure you're backing up reviews on your Google My Business listing. You check it every single day. You discard edits. If your competitor wakes up every single day to knock you out, you are going to want to keep a close eye on your Google My Business listings. And in fact, there are some companies that I work with, I will refuse to even have a third party publishing scheduling tool publish on their listing because I'm so careful about what happens within that dashboard. So right about now, there's going to be some more items popping up on the screen. I hope that they are helpful for you. And if you have any questions about local business digital marketing, please let me know. I'd love to help you. And I hope that you're not going through Google My Business suspension, but the chances are if you're watching this video, you probably are. So I wish you well.